So we've seen the power of games in research and education. We've looked at game flow and leveling, but now we need to look at what are the core fundamental aspects that you need for a game. To start with, let's define a game. What is a game? A game is a voluntary attempt to overcome unnecessary obstacles. Voluntarily overcoming some kind of unnecessary obstacle? We have enough obstacles in our daily lives already. Why would we do that? Well, it turns out we like the challenge. We like the challenge because there's a couple of rewards that go along with overcoming that obstacle that we put there unnecessarily. Let's look at the four different types of rewards that we need to overcome an unnecessary challenge. First of all, you have goods. Now, many of you have maybe seen sweepstakes, you know, like on Facebook, win a prize, whatever. There's some kinds of goods or services that you can win, material stuff. And then we go beyond the material. Then we go into glory. Now, glory is more the material. That's, you know, the Olympic medals. That's, you know, the, the, the glory of coming back as victorious, you know, to your home country or to your hometown or what have you. That glory of, you know, knowing that you did it, that's very powerful. And that's a great reward for many people. This is why there are so many rewards, awards, and actually there's no money to be had. It's simply for the trophy. Then, there's glee. Now glee is probably even more powerful than that because to get you through all this you have to like it. You, you just want to play. I mean Tiger Woods didn't become the best golfer because he hated golf. No, he actually thoroughly enjoyed it. He got glee out of it. Glee. It's fun. It's enjoyable. I enjoy playing it. I enjoy playing it with my friends. This is glee. The final one is gods. Now this is a very powerful reward of course and that's why it's given the top one. And what it refers to is the ability that games give to people and giving them the sense that they are gods and masters of their own destiny. In life we don't always have a choice of left or right, up, down to basically decide if this is going to be the way to go. And if we, you know, do something, we're not really sure of the outcome of it right away as immediate feedback, you know, when we go to work late or what have you. Now with games, you get that immediate feedback, specifically in video games. You get that immediate feedback so you feel like you're in control of your own destiny. You and you alone can be the hero. You are the god. In fact, there are many games, some are called sandbox games, where you actually do have god mode and you can create entire worlds. This is a very, very powerful pull for people to play games is just to feel for a little bit that they have control of their own lives.